Hi, welcome to this short tutorial on how to do algebraic long division. Now before I start, I just want to take you back and remind you how you can do division. Division with numbers. So for instance, suppose I had the number 6, 3, 2, 1, 0 for instance, 63,210 and I was going to divide this say by 5. Well, what I would normally do would be to say 5 into 6 goes once, with 1 left over. And 5 into 13 goes twice, because 2 5s are 10, and that would be a remainder of 3, and I'll put the 3 there against the 2. And 5 into 32 goes 6, because 6 5s are 30, and there will be 2 left over. Put the 2 there against the 1, giving 21. And then I'll do 5s into 21 goes 4, because 5 4s are 20, and there'll be 1 left over. And I'll put it there against the naught, and 5s into 10 goes 2. Now I could do the same sum and set it out a different way. So let's try that. OK, we'll go 5s again then into 6, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh. And what I could say is 5 into 6 goes once. Or what do I multiply 5 by to get as close as I can to that 6? And it is 1. Why? Because once 5 is 5. Now I knew the remainder was 1. Okay, but what I'm going to do is set this out differently. I'm going to say 1 times 5 is 5 and put it underneath here. Taking this away would tell me what the remainder is. 6 take away 5 is 1. And then what I can do is bring down this 3. OK, let's just mark that in that I bring this 3 down here. Put it against the 1. And I have 13. The same number as I had over here. So, instead of saying 5 into 13 over here, I've just got to do 5 into 13 in this way. And I could say, what do I multiply 5 by to get as close as I can to 13? And it's 2. So I'll put the 2 there. And when I've done that, I'll do 2 5s a 10, put it underneath here, take it away to find out what the remainder was. It was so easy when we were doing it over here. These are easy sums. I know that, I'm just trying to show you really a different way of setting this out which is going to be important when we come to do algebraic division. So we do 13 take 10 which leaves me with the remainder 3. Then I bring the next number down, the 2, to join the 3 and make it 32. Notice we had the 32 over here. So I say 5's into 32 Think of a number, how, what's the number that I can multiply 5 by to get as close as I can to 32? It's 6. 6 fives are 30. Take it away to get the remainder. 32 take away 30 is 2. So I bring down the next digit, the 1, to join the 2, and I get 21. 5's into 21. What do I multiply 5 by to get 21? Or get as close to 21, that is. It's a 4. So I put the 4 up there and go 5 4's a 20. OK. Take it away from the 21 and it's 1. Leaves me a remainder 1. Bring down the naught. OK, down it comes. And goes there. What do I multiply 5 by now to get 10? And it's 2. And I see that 5 times 2 is 10 and there's a remainder of 0. So you can see this particular method. Now what I'm going to do is use a similar method when I'm dealing with an algebraic division. So let me just show you how this works then. What I'm going to do is take 
the polynomial x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 and I'm going to divide this okay divide this polynomial by x minus 2 so to, first of all what we've got to do is lay this out as x minus 2 into okay this polynomial here so we've got x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 now following what we did up here I start by saying what do I multiply x by to get x cubed and that is an x squared x times x squared is x cubed and I put that up here now I multiply the x squared with x minus 2 and the answer goes underneath here so x squared times x is x cubed and x squared times minus 2 is minus 2x squared I subtract to find out what the remainder is you've got to be very careful here because minus 5x squared subtract minus 2x squared becomes minus 5x squared minus minus 2x squared and so that gives me minus 3x squared so I'll put that there and x cubed subtract another x cubed leaves me with nothing I won't bother writing naught in here but it just leaves me with nothing there and like before I bring down the 8x next so I bring down the 8x okay and write it in next to the minus 3x squared I now say what do I multiply x minus 2 by to get as close as I can to the minus 3x squared so I look at the x and I need to multiply that x with a minus 3x so put minus 3x up here and now I do minus 3x times the x which is minus 3x squared and then minus 3x times the minus 2 and that gives me plus 6x and that goes down there underneath the plus 8x repeat the process again subtract to find out what the remainder would be so plus 8x subtract plus 6x leaves me with plus 2x or just simply 2x and minus 3x squared subtract another minus 3x squared is nothing next I bring down the minus 4 put that against the 2x so you have minus 4 there then I say to myself what do I multiply x by to give me the 2x and that's going to be 2 plus 2 so I write that up here and then I do 2 times the x minus 2 2 times the x gives me 2x and then 2 times the minus 2 gives me minus 4 I subtract now to find out what the remainder will be and we have minus 4 subtract another minus 4 minus minus 4 sorry minus 4 minus minus 4 that's 0 and 2x minus this 2x is also 0 so in other words dividing x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 4 by x minus 2 leaves me with x squared minus 3x plus 2 as an answer and no remainder this top bit here is often called the quotient so the quotient is x squared minus 3x plus 2 okay so I hope you've understood that and that you'll be able to do similar examples and that brings us to the end of the first part of this tutorial